from Andrew Sarkis to Pachyrhinosaurus, there is a lot of dinosaur news to talk about today for modding in Path of Titan. Strap yourselves in, this is a big one. If you are new, feel free to subscribe, but other than that, let's just get right into it. Firstly, we have a glimpse of some attacks for this mod, with a bite attack, a headbutt attack, and a crushing bite attack, which all look absolutely awesome. Nice to see once again, there is variety here. Looks like the bite attack will do standard damage, the headbutt probably will do a bit more, and the crushing bite maybe bone break or something like that. We don't know exactly, but it's nice to know that there is a variety there. I wonder if it will get two head slot attack slots or just the one. I think with a crushing bite, you're obviously going to have two. That being said, we also get to see the baby Andrew Sarkis, and it looks absolutely adorable. Probably the cutest little hell pig ever. And my voice just broke, and the issue is that's going to stay in the video. Great. <laughs> Additionally, we also get to showcase some of the skins off. Firstly, this is the anti skin, then we have the sheepdog, the wolverine, and the capybara and the river hog skins, which are both in the same picture. And uh, yeah, you can finally be a capybara in Path of Times, albeit this is a capybara that's gonna kill you. The Andrew Sarkis is making some incredible progress, so it's very nice to see here. A very exciting creature. We also get to see a size comparison with Ceratosaurus and Stratosaurus, showcasing that this is a similar size to both of these creatures, more aligned to that of Stratosaurus, looking a little bit bigger in terms of height and obviously it's a lot fatter than Ceratosaurus as well. I wonder if it's going to do more damage if its damage output is similar to Staraco rather than Cerato. I'm not too sure there but either way a very nice comparison there. And we also have a comment from one of the creators of the mod basically saying this. Here are the other two subspecies. The Mesonchid will be a future release like Edmontosaurus and Utah variants since I want to have more fitting sounds and animations for it. So obviously it looks like we're going to get two variants of this mod. You're going to have one that looks more like a hippo and one that obviously is the Androcycus that we all know and love. This is how they're doing it with the Edmontosaurus mod where you have the big one and then you have the small one as well or the Utah Raptor soon where you have the fluffy version version and the non-fluffy version because you can't have currently two dinosaurs in one mod at the moment. That being said, it looks like in the future, a future release will be that hippo variant, but obviously for now we've got this one, which will obviously have its own subspecies as well, which uh, is nice to know. Anyways, that's Andrew Sarkis, a lot to talk about and unpackage there. Let me know about, let me know what you think about this mod. <laughs> Pachyrhinosaurus is a mod that quite a few people are trying to bring to the game. We saw KTO attempting to bring one to the game, which we haven't heard much about for a while, but now we have another one, a Pachyrhinosaurus mod made by GNU. And GNU, I'm definitely pronouncing that very wrong, is actually another content creator with like 50,000 subscribers. He has his own YouTube channel where he's showcased a lot of these content regarding this mod on the channel. I recommend you check it out. Go subscribe to him. Check out those mod videos. I see that they didn't get many views, but you get to see quite a few creatures that he's working on bringing to the game. Pachyrhinosaurus is one of them. Parasaurolophus and I believe Oranosaurus are other ones that he's aiming to bring to the game as well. So yeah, check them out. But anyways, from the video that showcased all of the animations for Pachyrhinosaurus, we get to see a walk, a run, the eating, sniff, look around, and then some attacks as well with the tail attack, headbutt attack, and then some calls. The threaten call, broadcast call, the stress call, and the defense call as well. I recommend you check out Gnu's video. He also showcased a Parasaurolophus mod, which I obviously mentioned, and there is another video that he worked on as well, which seemingly indicates that there are other creatures that he's working on bringing to the game as well. So there's a lot of cool stuff coming, but that is a Pachyrhinosaurus mod that's been made by Gnu. <laughs> A dinosaur that I haven't talked about in a wee bit, this is City Patty, an Oviraptorid being made by the Titanus Constructus mod developers, the same people who made the Ampelosaurus. Last time we showcased the head, some animation work on the feather, and stuff like that, or one of the head feathers that is. 
but we also get to see the fluffening of the city patty as well this includes chest fluff and obviously the chest fluff on the baby as well so you get to see what the fluff will look like on this dinosaur you get a nice glimpse of one of the skins as well blue hands a mix of beiges and browns as well which means that this one will have quite the variety in different colors as well i, I hope that there will also be some more colored uh, skins more brightly colored skins as well but we'll have to wait and see they've also updated the feathering on the city patty as well to make the placement of the feathers better in terms of the dinosaurs anatomy you can see the before and after of this which was showcased by one of the developers of the mod really nice to know that they they have this attention to detail and improving on stuff that people have mentioned to them in terms of making sure this mod is accurate and its anatomy is quite good so it's nice to see there now, a couple of you have been asking about the Mammoth mod, the Colombian Mammoth, and we have some stuff to share with you. Firstly, here is the baby of the Colombian Mammoth, and look at it. It's absolutely adorable. Feast your eyes upon it. It is the cutest little Colombian Mammoth to ever exist. Additionally, we get a size comparison of that and Rex, and one that compares it to Bars Boldia as well, showcasing the sizes there. It's nice overall to see. And yeah, it's a pretty nice one at that. We also get to see the sleeping pose. And when I first saw the sleeping pose, I thought it was dead. So if a carnivore is prodding along and it's like, oh, that looks like a corpse of a mammoth. Let me eat it. And then it gets up and impales the shit out of you. Of course, it's going to be a little bit of an issue and quite scary for you as the carnivore. But once again, it looks really cool. And once you realize it's sleeping, it's just having a nap and it looks quite cute. We also get to see the Mammoth's running animation as well, which was showcased by Rospaw, and it's nice as well. It seems development of the Mammoth is going really well so far. I can't wait to showcase more of this. I'm not sure what's happening to the Woolly Mammoth, or if they're going to be either two separate mods or subspecies on the Mammoth itself. We'll have to wait and see there. I'm not 100% certain what's happening with that, and maybe in the next video I'll be able to update you all with that. Following the release of the Goya Gore and following comments on the Mammoth, we get to see something that is like a Mammoth. This is the Madrehorn being made by Doc J, once again the creator of the Goya Gore, a mod that I really liked and it looks absolutely awesome and this one once again looks absolutely badass as well. This is another interesting OC creature that he is working on and this is the next mod that he aims to bring to the game. Firstly we get a video showcasing the growth of the Madrahorn. I think the biggest indicator here is the growth on the tusks, how big the tusks get going from little tiny to massive tusks overall and yeah it also gets a little bit more chunkier as well we also have an animation now i'm not sure if this is a look around emote animation or part of the idle animation it's a nice animation now i'm not too sure what it is for i'm assuming it's a look around emote but yeah that's pretty much that we also get to see a comparison of the rex goyagor and the Madrahorn as well, which showcases how big this is going to be. If you thought the Mammoth looked big compared to the Rex, which was the same size as the Rex, the Madrahorn is pretty much the big daddy version of the Mammoth that's coming to the game, and this thing is probably going to be packing a punch. Hopefully, it's not as OP as the Goya Gore, but with the size of this, it definitely could end up being quite as strong as the Goya Gore is in its current state. This is something I'm very excited for. The Madrahorn looks absolutely badass. It's like a new mammoth in a sense. We're getting a mammoth and we're getting a fantasy OC mammoth, which looks incredible. Both very exciting mods. And it's nice to see what modding is bringing to the game. Let me know your thoughts about this one. There's obviously a lot more mods being developed and I'll be able to cover them in future videos. But I do want to say a big thank you to everybody who's been able to suggest me mods to cover and showcase mods via my Discord server. We have a specific uh, thread in one of the channels which allows people to showcase mods that I can then look through and put into videos. Let me know your thoughts about all of these mods in the comments down below. I really like the Madrahorn. I really like the Mammoth. I also really like the other stuff that's been shown as well. Anyways, if you want to check out another mod spot like video we had this one talking about cryptops and its special beast ability which i definitely recommend you check out because it is a really cool ability anyways guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one have a great day peace <laughs>